Hi there, Jen Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio. Today's project, you guys, I'm gonna show you how to artistically apply your foils to some jeans. This is gonna be such a fun project, you guys. I'm gonna be using Deco Foil Transfer Gel Duo. You find this on our website. It is a, an adhesive that is designed for fabric. And it is really versatile to work with. You can use this with um, stencils. You can freehand with it. I mean, there just seems to be a lot that we can actually do with this product. So I'm gonna grab some of it take it out of the container and put it onto a foam plate. Uh, I just like to be able to grab it from there with my brushes. Okay, so I'm gonna grab out something to start with, put our lid back on, and my inspiration foil is our Waverly print. And it just has a beautiful floral print to it. And I'm using this as my guide, okay, because I know this is what I'm gonna wanna transfer. And I'm just kind of look at how the flowers are laying and try to mimic my brush strokes, okay, with transferring that design. So if I decide I want to try to get like this little grouping of flowers over here by the pocket, I'm going to try to paint on my adhesive to basically be in that shape to grab that. So I'm going to leave that right there for my inspiration. And I have a few different size brushes here and I even grabbed a liner brush just so I'd have something to play with, okay? And I'm going to sit down because we're just going to play here for a little while. Uh, the smaller brush I think is going to be a little bit easier to just um, be able to create the shapes that you want, okay? And wherever we put the Duo Gel, the um, foil will transfer there. Um, the thicker you actually apply this gel, um, that normally will allow it to transfer even more defined, okay, and give you a full transfer or a better transfer. And if you put it on super thin, you'll just get a little bit of the foil, but you might not get everything. Now, this is by all means not perfect in my drawing over here, okay, but I'm going to basically just try to get some of the flowers from that one section. And I know I'll get some of the green as well. And I'm gonna go over the edge here a little bit. So it's going over the seam. Um, and then this is where I'm gonna pull in my liner brush and just try to get some thinner detail of maybe just catching. Yep. Okay, that's not gonna give it. <laughs> I need something uh, definitely with more resistance. I need a stiffer bristle brush to do that. So I'm gonna look. Not that I don't have any brushes, okay? Ooh, here we go. I've got something a little bit stiffer and a little bit shorter. So maybe I can draw my more defined lines with that. So you're gonna have to play with your brushes, figure out what's gonna work, okay? And this is trying to get a little bit of, um, some of the greenery to kind of go back. And then also, even though it won't be an actual leaf, okay, let's see, maybe my smaller brush. I'm gonna just do even a leaf shape, just so that even though I'm not positioning that for a leaf, most of the background is green. Um, so I can just mimic the shape of a leaf and paint whatever I want here. And I kind of wanted this to, to cascade a little bit. So I'm just gonna add a little 
few lines, okay, where the foil will just transfer a little bit. So this is truly an artistic application, okay? Um, I have many other ideas, but this is the one we're gonna work on. So I'm gonna do random application. I'm gonna work with <laughs> my ripped up jeans here, okay? And kind of just playing with these. Again, I'm gonna look at my foil for part of the pattern that I think I would like to work with. And I think I'm gonna go for this grouping here and I might even put it where it's going to go around the knee a little bit. We do have more than one floral pattern. I'm working with Waverly um, is the print. And this is just a super, super fun way to create, okay? The foiled jeans are super, super popular right now and quite a few different looks, okay? Uh, we have another video where we've done random coverage and just a solid color um, and a video that has almost full coverage on front and back. So there's just many, many different ways uh, to accomplish some foil jeans, okay? There's so many looks. And even if I don't mimic the design too well, it's okay. I'm just still gonna get some transfer of the foil and the foil pattern, and we're gonna have some color here. Okay, I like the little brush to try to just paint some fine little details of some wispy lines kind of coming off. So you can go outside the lines. You can definitely paint on whatever makes you happy. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving this leg up so that I have um, some more area. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more down here and then I think I'm going to be done with that leg. And you don't have to follow the foil if you don't want to. I'm just trying to find part of the print that I like and something that I think will work in that area. I'm finding that if you get too much of the adhesive on your brush at one time, it's hard to get finer details. So you might have to keep your brush cleaned off a little bit like I'm doing, or even just work down into the smaller size uh, brush. It is important that the bristles are definitely stiffer with this application, not your regular nice soft artist brush. I just don't feel like it's um, will brush on as easily. Now if you've got any big, big flowers, then that's probably not a big, uh, big deal. But when you're trying to get the little finer details, I'm finding that this smaller brush, okay, is, is giving me more control, I should say. It's probably a me thing. It's just that me needs more control. <laughs> you can also do this with stencils. So if you um, don't, if you're not comfortable with your freehand ability, then you can use a stencil design transfer the adhesive through the pattern and still work with a beautiful floral print like this. Okay, so we've got this leg painted up pretty well. The adhesive needs to dry normally for about, oh, 20, 30 minutes. It's gonna kind of depend on also your environment and how warm or hot it, you know, dry it is where you are working. I find the warmer my environment is normally the quicker that the uh, adhesive dries and it doesn't have to dry completely. Okay. As you can see, while it's still wet, it's going to look milky white. 
um, especially anywhere where you might have a raised line or just thicker. It doesn't have to be completely dry when you go to transfer, but I do find um, I have more control with my um, transfer if I've let it dry at least partially. Uh, so I'll normally let it dry at least 20, 30 minutes. And if there's still a few little white spots or areas that aren't completely dry, I just don't worry too much about it. The stuff is great to work with because it will transfer with and without heat. And um, when it's completely dry or it's still a little wet. Uh, so you've got a lot of, I don't know, a lot of playroom with this product. It's, it's not just... Uh, where you have to obey the rules all the time. I think this one's one that you can kind of break the rules with your uh, application. So just let loose, have some fun, let the creative process just happen. Um, I'm kind of working with the, uh, laying out a composition of working with how the jeans were kind of distressed to, to begin with and trying to just bring that in with the design. And I just want a little bit here and there. Uh, so I'm not trying to cover them completely, but you know, that's also allowed. <laughs> Don't you love it when there's not a lot of rules and you can break all the rules and just have fun? Okay, I think I'm just going to add one more section to the knee. And again, I just keep going, referring back to the gathering of the flowers, just feeling like I have a section that I can bend around this area or just make that kind of work. Um, and hopefully I remember which flowers I thought I was working with. <laughs> Okay, I think that's all we're gonna paint on. And again, I always look at the composition when I'm creating something like this, where I'm trying to just kind of have this balanced. I have three areas I've done on one leg and just two on the other. When the front's completely done, I probably will pull these over and do just a tiny bit on maybe one of the pockets. I do know that some of my brushwork over here is pretty thick. So this is definitely gonna need to dry a little bit longer. So I think we're just gonna let this sit uh, for a few more minutes and then we'll come back and transfer our foil. Duo gel to dry for probably about a half an hour. And from the camera view, you can just see it looks like some dark areas on the jeans. So we know exactly where um, it's been painted on. So now <laughs> I'm going to kind of keep my jeans out of my way here while I do this, because if the jean is sticky, it could possibly grab my foil. So what I'm going to do is cut out the areas that I think was the section that I had picked for each one, okay? Just trying to um, find some areas that will kind of work with those sections. And that way I'm just using that particular section of the foil. So I'm trying to remember, okay, <laughs> as I paint it. And what you can also do is cut this out while you're painting on the jeans so that you know which areas that you had um, tried to mimic 
and um, that might just be easier than guessing kind of like I'm doing now but I think I think I remembered pretty good we'll see <laughs> and it does, nothing has to be perfect okay it just is going to be a um, fun project and just have a good time with this okay so this one here is a little bit harder for me to see but we're going to we're going to go for this area here okay now I've already turned my iron on I use my iron on medium heat um, and the other thing I want to do is find a piece of parchment paper because I want to show you guys this so you just want to be careful with your jeans as you're moving them around so that you don't end up getting any of that adhesive on your clothing that you're wearing, okay? And also, you don't mess up your pattern. So this is just parchment paper, and you can lay this over the foil. What it's gonna do is just protect the surface in case I didn't put the foil completely over the area that I did transfer or brushed the adhesive onto. If you're not really sure of the temperature of your iron and maybe yours gets hotter than mine does, this will protect the foils also from melting um, onto your iron. And I'm just going to lift this up and I can tell just by giving a little tug that it has definitely adhered to that area. So I'm going to keep moving it up and finding the different sections that I think <laughs> that's that this is my biggest chore here trying to figure out what did I what was I doing here okay and then I'm going to iron on the next section so I'm going to get all my foil transferred over, okay, with the iron first, because the one thing that you want to make sure is that you're doing what's called a cool release, which means you have to let the um, foils completely cool down. And you can do this without uh, the parchment paper, okay? So I'm going to do a section down here. I've got this last little area that I painted on. I'm just trying to get it flat. And I'm really thinking and guessing this was the section that I was inspired by. And as you can see, I can definitely just iron directly over it. My iron is only on medium heat. I'm not going to scorch the foil, okay? But if you're not sure, it's best to just do the parchment paper. Okay, and let's get this one here. And iron over on this section. And I don't let my iron sit for any length of time. I keep it moving the whole time. I am using some pressure as well. And then our last little section. And just so you, it's noted, my last little section still has an area that is a little white, so it's not completely dry there, but we're gonna give it a good try and see if we can get this to transfer well still. Okay, I'm trying to figure out which foils I used and the direction. I think, I think that's my guess, okay? <laughs> um, the other thing that I better say here, you guys, is the foils we are using are fabric friendly. The adhesive we are using is designed for fabric, um, so it will not wash out. I do recommend when you go to wash your jeans, if you want them to stay 
as nice as possible without losing any of your foil um, or having anything happen, then go cold water, turn them inside out, put them on delicate cycle, and do not put them in the dryer, okay? So I'm just testing to make sure that we have it's cooled off and then I'm going to release. Now, I know I have more adhesive up there on the top and if it didn't transfer all the way, um, and sometimes it's challenging with the iron to get it into the areas where you have all your stitching. So I can also use my toothbrush and brush a little there as well and try to get a little bit more of the foil to release in other areas. So I was telling you guys in the beginning, as I talk really slow as I'm doing something, okay? The foils will release with and without heat, okay? Um, so we can use the iron and we can use the scrub brush. And again, they don't have to be, the adhesive doesn't have to be thoroughly dry as well. Oh, that actually turned out really cool there. I'm gonna try to scrub a little bit more in this one area. But if I was super light handed, some of that might not transfer. But oh my gosh, you guys, that is looking so, so cute. And even where I got those little fine lines, I just got little wispy details. Okay, um, again, make sure you do let it cool off, completely cool off. And then also, um, don't try to cool it fast uh, by any means, because if you try to like sh shove it in the refrigerator or the freezer and get it to cool off fast, you can possibly not get much of a transfer at all. And I do find when I'm working on a pair of denim jeans like this, and there's all this stitching that sometimes I can get a pretty good release by coming back and scrubbing. Oh, you guys, these are so cute. I love how they're just somewhat faded. They're not super, super bright and shiny. And, you know, the foil is picking up in some areas better than others. But this is so cool, so artistic. Okay, we've got one leg done. So let's go over here and see what we got on the other leg. And I'm telling you guys, this is just fun. You just don't always know exactly what you're gonna get until you start releasing that foil. Oh, so, so cool. Uh, one other little trick, you guys, too. Always best to go with less to start with. And then if you decide you want more, you can always come back and add more of the duo and transfer again. But make sure to be very careful and use that parchment paper to cover everything if you're gonna come back and add. Okay, let's reveal our last little section here. And you can put some pressure when you're scrubbing, okay? Oh, these are so, so cute. Okay, I'm hoping to get them completely in the camera view for you guys so that you can see our completed project. How cute are those? I am just in love with this. So just another way that you can um, adorn your jeans using foil uh, foils are just super popular right now on our clothing and an artistic application. Thank you so much for joining me on today's tutorial. Working on these jeans was so much fun. For all the links on the materials that were used, you'll find them below in the comments. And make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our upcoming tutorials.